All right, today's quick tip from the Home Improvements Channel UK. Me, 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 me. <laughs> We're gonna show you how to wire a UK plug. So obviously you've got your cable. You've got your plug. So if we just quickly go through the plug, that's your earth, that's your neutral, and the one with the fuse is your live. First, first job we're gonna do is we're gonna take the outer sheathing off. As you can see, there's cables with sheathing inside. So if you just hold it there, strip that much off, and we'll cut it back just to make our life easy. One moment. Right, as you can see, the outer sheath is now off. So quick little tip for people. If you take the se second letter, if you take the second letter of each colour, the blue and the brown, forget about this one, you've got brown, so second letter R, as you look on the back of the plug, right side. If you take the second letter of blue, L, left side of the plug. So someone that's got a bit of experience to be able to do this quicker, we're trying to make it for DIYers, so roll on the abuse. What you can do is this black sheath needs to be in this clamp. Okay, because that's what's going to hold the wire from getting pulled out. And then take your first colour and you want to cut to the back side of this brass block here. So if you hold it there, you're going to cut this wire. So we'll cut that now. Right, that's our first, that's our live brown R. Right, that's cut to the back side of that block. The blue needs to wrap down and come back into the plug. Excuse the wobbliness, I'm trying to make it easy for you to see. So we're going to loop it round and again we're going to cut to the back side of that copper block there. One moment. Right, as you can see, the blue and the brown. Now if you've got an item that's double insulated, which if you look on it, it's two, a square inside of a square, it means it's double insulated. You may not have an earth cable or a CPC. But if you have, that's the next one. So that one wraps around here and turns to the right like this. Try to keep me fat fingers out of the way. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna hold that and we're gonna cut that as well. One moment. Right. You should be left with something like this. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna strip back enough copper so that it goes into the copper block but you don't have copper exposed, okay? Excellent, let's get that done. Right, so as you can see, we've stripped the ends off, all the copper's exposed. So when that goes into that copper block there, the sheath will go right up to it, so you won't have copper swinging around inside your plug. This is obviously dangerous. So when now, now that we've got our sizes, because as you can see, they're all slightly different, rather than trying to just, Slide that out, take your time. We'll start with this one. Oh, get out a little twisty poo, because it's going everywhere. Realize that you haven't undone the screws. And then what we want is that copper to just disappear inside. And have nothing on the outside. I'm trying to keep my fingers out of the way. It could be a flathead or a Phillips, depending on the plug you're using. And we're gonna tighten that down. And then that then sits like this. And then with this one, it's the same process. You pull it out, take the fuse out. Don't worry about that. So if that sits like that, our live conductor is gonna go, oh, let's undo that screw again. Wibbly wobbly. Don't mind my shaky fingers, I was a surgeon. Slide it in. Do it up. And then that's gonna sit in there. And then we're not gonna worry about that one because it'll only pull out. Next one we're gonna do is a uh, earth. I'm gonna pull it out and put it in the side like that. Keep this under the camera. Slide that in there like that. Get your screwdriver. Shake all around the hole. 
put it in and then give them all a little twist make sure they're tight obviously you ain't got to go mental but they do need to be tight now with this clamp you you can feed it in but the easiest way i think for you is to take this one of the screws out and then just twist that clamp out of the way like that now we can lay our cables in neatly and that's going to sit in there or not because I'm trying to make a video it's going to refuse that's it like that just take your time it's not flogging it and then yeah yeah just take your time there's no rush unless you've got a meeting to go to then obviously rush and that's basically what you're going to be looking for so make sure these are all tight you've got no copper hanging around in here don't be cutting your sheaths back over here because it's obviously it's dangerous and then we're going to put our screws back in i think it's that one i don't know what i'm doing yeehaw all right so now we can start tightening the clamp down do this evenly because it'll only just pull to one side Make sure we're clamped on this sheaf here because that's what's going to stop it getting pulled out. Tighten them down. Right, now you've tightened that clamp, your cable's safe and secured inside. Double check that these are nice and tight. Don't be rounding the screws off, they are only brass or copper, one of the two. So if I try and get that in the centre, you can see how the cables route through. And it's just a case of putting your back plate on, putting your retaining screw back in the middle, take your screwdriver and your wibbly wobbly hands, tighten it up, and you should be left with a nice tight plug. Go plug it in and get the kettle on. Cheers. <laughs>